Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Today's video is going to be a bit different. We're going to see if a 24 gauge shotgun loaded with buckshot or really large birdshot like lead BBs can be effectively used as a home defense shotgun if that's all you have or let's say you have a 24 gauge and you don't really care what happens to it after the you know situation happens. So what I've got here is my Ivor Johnson Champion Hen 24 gauge. We have five shells we're going to pattern at seven yards, home defense distance. These are loaded with a fold crimp 24 gauge, and just like 32 is not normally done with a fold crimp, but these are using OMV dies on my Lee Load All. This one specifically is three quarter ounces of lead BBs. Pretty interesting. And uh, let's see, besides these right here, the rest of these, I think we're going to shoot at Clay's. We have 10 apiece to see who can, well, win. Pretty much, we're going to see who can hit the most out of 10. But uh, I guess let's get into it. We're going to shoot these at, once again, 7 yards. And if you've never seen a 24 gauge, well, here you go. 24 gauge, barrel and lug, forged in one. And this is an Ivor Johnson Arms and Cycle Works champion. I hope you guys can see this well, but the choke is improved cylinder, and it looks like to us a previous owner did hack the end of the muzzle off. I've seen in the catalog these were supposed to have a 30 or a 28 inch barrel. Well, this one measures 27 inches. The sight bead has fallen out. So to start off with, I'm going to run a couple of these over a chronograph. We miscalculated how many clays we had. Turns out it's 12, not 20, but that's okay. That just gives us an excuse to run a couple of these over a chronograph. Yep. Then we'll go five for five so you can hit the most. Yep. These are Sorry, three quarter ounce loads of number nine shot loaded with um, 17 grains of long shot and the clay buster seven eighth ounce 20 gauge wad, which is for tapered holes. They do, however, fit 24 gauge, which is straight wall like they're made for it. So let's see what they do. I'm not going to risk that. 1222, speed's great. Of course, it got stuck, though. Clean your rods in front of you. Oh, oh, never, you came out it. by itself. Like I said, the gun needs a little bit of work. It's old. It's been abused. Yeah. 1202, the speed is perfect. And that one came out just fine. What powder is that? Long shot. Why does it smell like burning hair? I don't know. Long shot never smells like that. Primer looks great. Brass looks great. Crimp looks great. Seems to be a fairly solid load. You guys want to hear something funny? I ain't told nobody for about a year now. The first day we got the chronograph, I'll take you down here and show you. I don't know why I'm telling you this now, but I find it funny. First day we had it, I shot the thing. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody that's noticed it by now, though. I'm sure. Anyway, let's see how this buckshot loads do. Here's your three. Yours are in the clay buster wads. Mine's loaded with little gun and conventional. Alrighty. Well, alrighty, guys. We're at some home defense range, roughly seven to eight yards anyways, this 24 gauge. What I've got here is 17 grains of long shot, the Clay Buster 20 gauge wad. It is for tapered hauls. That's why it fits this haul the way it does. Seven, it's the 20 gauge 7 8 ounce wad, my bad. Um, three quarter ounce of BB lead, BSD buffer. What's the BSD? It, uh, it's the same thing as ITX. They just renamed it. That's what I thought. I wasn't for sure. But anyways, I guess without further ado, let's do. Well, that would definitely uh, roll a yoke. Soccer ball size pattern. It is just improved cylinder. If he's hiding behind the hay bale, say for your old buddy Tyler over here, he's got the 22250, and I've got the shotgun, old yoke come in, that would uh, be coming close, that is. It'd do it. I think that's 34 pellets, if I remember right. I'm not going to count them, but. Right. That's how I like doing it, coyote hunting anyway. Somebody's got a shotgun, somebody's got a rifle. Right. Let's see this pattern. They come out, you know, 100 feet, 200 yards, smack them with a rifle. Obviously closer than that, too, but... Yeah. Now, 
Can we get this same pattern at 50 yards with a 12 or 10 gauge? Yes. But that is a, it's a 24 gauge with an improved cylinder choke. And it's roughly the size of a soccer ball, maybe a basketball. But will that do the job? Absolutely. Here's my hand for comparison size sake. Yeah. I mean, granted, I have kind of a big hand, but... That would definitely... Still. Definitely do the job. I guess uh, instead of patching those, we'll just aim over here. <laughs> I'll re-laminate this later. Yeah. All right, guys. And this one is loaded with 23 grains of little gun. A... One eighth inch nitro card. My writing is kind of hard to read. A mylar wrap. One quarter inch of felt. Switch those around so it would be one quarter inch of felt and then the mylar wrap. 15 pellets of number two buck and BSB buffer. This is right at a one ounce load. And I tell you what, that's a little bit tighter, actually, quite a bit tighter than that BB load. And the hull looks just fine. I think that could stand to use a little bit more powder. Um, that had basically no recoil. I don't think it was that loud either. That is a 28 gauge load bumped up a grain and a half, essentially. Probably really low pressure for 24. It is quite a bit, quite a bit bigger than 28. But the pattern here, a little bit bigger than my hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That is not a double. Here's the 15th pellet. All 15 right here with one flyer down low. That's a great pattern. I like this gun. Let's see here. There's one I just shot. We said it was a good pattern. Move up here. You can see the difference in them that way. It's a good pattern for an improved cylinder 24 gauge. Yes. Anything with the full choke, that'd be pretty bad for seven yards. Alrighty, guys. We've got here, seven, once again, 17 grains of long shot in the Claybuster 20 gauge, 7 8 ounce wad. This one's loaded with 15 pellets, number four buck, and BSD buffer, or ITX, whatever you know it as. Still at home defense range, seven yards. Let's see how this one does. I'm going to go for upper right here. It ain't been shot too bad yet. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yep, I believe that's the best pattern yet. That was 15 pellets of number four. How's that haul look? Uh, looks great. Sure does. Yeah, looks fun. I actually hit where I wanted to. <laughs> that was a three quarter ounce load. Uh -huh. It's 15 pellets of number four bucks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Double right here, too. Oh, okay, that's 15 then. Yep, that's that all 15. Double. That's where the wad went through. Yeah. Show your hand next to that real quick. I think you can cover. Oh, I can cover 90% of it. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it's all in all. I don't know. It's about 18 cat whiskers wide. 32 bullfrog tails long. Looks like it's as long as a hot dog. <laughs> Anything but metric. Anything. <laughs> Anything but metric. All right, guys, and this is going to be my last shot here. We have a brand new Prime Fiocchi, like all these are. We have 17 grains of long shot, the Clay Buster 20 gauge 7 8 ounce wad. And we have, lo and behold, 20 pellets of 22 cal F buck, which is actually birdshot, technically. I wouldn't call it birdshot. I wouldn't either. It's 22 cal, it's tiny buckshot. And BSB buffer. Let's see how it goes. Another really good pattern. All looks just fine. Fold crimp 24 gauge. Never thought I'd see it. To be honest, I never thought I'd see a 24 gauge in general. Me either. More spent, 28 or 32. I spent years trying to find the 24 gauge and a 32. And that pattern is roughly the same size as the, <coughs> what's that over there? The lead uh, BB shot. Yep. There it is next to my hand. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and the double, 19, 20. 
Looks like we're getting the double about every pattern, but that's pretty good. Certainly would get the job done. There's the F buck pattern, the F shot anyways. And there's the number four for comparison, I guess, sidewise, yep. I don't know. Just a little bit smaller than number four buck. Yep. Let's see how the number one buck does. All right, guys, this is my last shell. It is loaded with 25 grains of little gun. A fence nitro card with a quarter inch felt and 10 pellets of 30 cal number one buck BSB buffer. It weighs in at right at 27 grams. And I don't know if, anyways, that's that's one gram less than an ounce. So, let's see how nine four on the scale. Right. But I'm going to hold center bottom. Ew. That's a pretty good pattern. It is a pretty good pattern. It's crazy how much different little gun sounds than long shot. Little gun's like a hollow crack, whereas long shot's like yeah. a deep rumble. Little gun almost sounds like black powder sometimes. That hole looks just fine. And this is a really good pattern. 10 pellets of 30 cal. 30 cal is the biggest size you can fit in 24 gauge. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Yep. And once again, a double. Two doubles. Nice. That's a pretty good pattern. Let's shoot some clays now. All right, guys. Time to shoot some clays. We have five each. Five each. All righty. Pull. Pull. There's two for two, and that one's stuck. It's okay, I got a pocket knife. Every self-respecting man should carry a pocket knife. Barlow, Imperial Barlow. 1942 model, to be exact. <laughs> I have one really similar. Pull. Three for three. Only if they'd all eject like that. Yeah. Pull. Four for four. We're actually pretty good at shooting clays. I'm not. You are. Pull. Five for five. Uh, about That one was in frame, guys. That, that one got off on me. It's about out of frame. But luckily, we was able to see it. Five for five. Walk down here by him. We've got the camera set up on a tripod, and I'm just hand-throwing these things. So yeah. that's why some of them are over here, and a few of them are over there. But it's all on frame, so y'all got to see all five of them. He's a little more consistent throwing than me, so. Yeah. Oops. Grab your five shells over there. You got your clays. Here's the Barlow somewhere. I got mine. Okay. Are these all bird shot here? Yeah, they're all bird shot. Okay. And if you guys are wondering, these are three quarter ounce loads of number nine shot loaded with 17 grains of long shot and that clay buster 20 gauge wad. I am frame friend. Oh, yeah. All right. It's weird them coming from behind me. You got to look up for the clay and then track it after. Yeah, you're good. Ready? Yeah. One. That is wild. Yeah. It ain't easy. You got to find the clay, then track it after. Sort of like you regularly have to do, but. Compared to how we normally throw them. Yeah. Pull. Two for two. That's weird, just having blind faith you ain't going to smack me in the back of the head with that thing. Uh. <laughs> Anyways. Pull. Oh, I missed. Aww. Dang it. I was laughing at what I just said. <laughs> Pull. Left. Oh, that one went click. That ain't fair. Clay didn't break. I'll give him a do-over. That ain't fair. I'm going to trade that shell out, too. Yeah, that one just went click. Yeah, it happens. I'll stick it over here. Oh, it's one of them primers with the weird dot on it. I thought we was out of them things years ago. Don't get me wrong. I blatantly missed the third one. Right. That one there went click, though. That ain't my fault. Is the lock still on? Yeah. Okay. 
So what that was, was a Winchester primer that probably got wet. It's old. Yep. Pull! Oh, I mean, I threw it. Why did that one go click? I don't know. Did, did we break firing pin? No. All right, hold on a second. Now it goes off. I was going to say, why'd it go off? Oh, check it out. There is something going on with the firing pin. Oh, yeah. It's broke a wedge off of it. Look, I thought it looked awful squared. Yeah. That's why it busted that one, though. Oh, well. I got one more to shoot at. I got two more. How do I got two more? You have... It's two misfires. You I did miss one, one play, so you got two left to shoot, actually. Yep. Sorry, guys. I'm, I know this is all running through, but... It wouldn't be a range day video without some kind of little mishaps. Yeah. I'll the glad firing, to take these ones. The firing pin is sticking out really far in that gun right now. Pull. Oh. Tree. Got it. Three out of four. I mean, where the heck did my knife go? Hold on a sec. Last one. Probably needs a new ejector spring too. Ready? Pull. Off to your left a little bit. Oh well guys, I hit three out of five. Three out of five. Makes it a little bit hard when the gun's not working right. Oh, it makes it a little harder when they're coming from behind you, too. I know that's how it usually is, trap shooting, but the way we usually throw, we set the thrower up in front of us. And you yep. can watch them from the time they leave the ground to... So I need to order a new firing pin. What else? New front sight bead. New and a new spring. ejector spring. And that thing should be like brand new again. Yeah, I hope so. That was fun, guys. If you want to see more clay shooting videos, let us know. Yeah, I love shooting clays. It's a lot of fun. Me too. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this. It's a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Keep on watching. <laughs>